It's not for the reasons, Mr. Speaker, because the Atlantic Premiers met yesterday, and not surprisingly, the Conservative attacks on EI were at the top of their agenda. These Premiers understand how critical employment insurance is to the economy. They know Conservative EI restrictions will hurt these industries and force workers out of their communities. Mr. Speaker, lobster doesn't grow in a tank in the seafood section. The next time the Conservatives sit down to their lobster dinner, will they take even a moment to think about the workers, the employees, the employers, and the communities that they're targeting? Once again, we see examples of where the NDP do not want the Canadian economy to grow. We have employers all over this country who are desperate for workers. They're having, we're having to bring in tens of thousands of temporary foreign workers because Canadian employers can't find Canadian workers to do the job. We want to help the Canadian workers who are employed with those skills find the jobs in their area. That way the employers are better off, they produce a better product, more economically, and the families are better off. That's better for their communities and for the provinces. The Honourable Member for Halifax. The Atlantic Canadians, the Premiers, seasonal businesses, they all know that the Conservatives are targeting them. And what's most troubling to the Premiers is the secrecy around these changes. Consultation doesn't mean having a chat with a Conservative backbencher. It requires communication with Premiers, with employers, and with workers. Even New Brunswick's Progressive Conservative Premier said, there are a lot of concerns because, quote, there's a void of information. Why don't they do the reasonable thing? Why don't they do the common sense thing? And put these changes on hold and have real consultations for EI. We have listened to Canadians. Canadians say they want to work. We want to help them connect with the jobs in their skill range that are available in their areas. We've also heard from employers who desperately need and want Canadian workers to produce their products, to go to a second shift. That's good for the employer. It's also good for the worker. They make more money with the changes we're going, we want to bring in. That's good for their families. That means there's more money spent in their communities. Good for those communities. And Mr. Speaker, do that in enough communities. It's good for the provinces. Who could object to that? The Honourable